My name is Thomas Dresch, and I uh, am part of Thomas Dresch Woodworks. And now you're relatively new to the industry. Could you t tell me a little bit about how you uh, you got involved in uh, Thomas Dresch Woodworks? And yes, sir. Uh, well, it kind of started back in high school. Um, I just needed a summer job, and there was a friend of the family who was a trim carpenter, and so I, I called him and asked him for a job and uh, started working with him and the, some of the subdivisions and stuff that were going up around my house. Uh, and then I started building furniture and stuff on the side as well just to make some extra money. Uh, and then I got done with high school and continued working with him uh, throughout college and was still building furniture and was doing more and more of that. And uh, I went into college to to become a, a certified public accountant and get, get that. So I finished up the bachelor's program and I worked at an accounting firm for a little bit and just got tired of sitting at a desk all day long. And uh, I was still building stuff on the side and really enjoying that. So once I got done with the, the master's program, I uh, decided, well, I'm gonna try my, my hand at business. And yeah, so I originally started focusing on furniture, but uh, quickly pivoted to more of the cabinetry and, and starting to focus more on cabinetry and, and stuff like that. Was it scary to go from a pretty solid job, a C CPA job, to to this new venture? Oh, it was it was very because when I was when I was there, I was only there for a, as an internship for a few months, and it was a, I mean it was a steady paycheck every every two weeks. I knew what I was going to get paid, and I knew for sure that I was going to have a paycheck. So yeah, it was it was definitely a uh, I mean, yeah, it was scary <laughs> going going into your own, and you don't really know you know what tomorrow holds and it's kind of all up to you to make it to make it work. So, and you started with furniture. Any particular type of furniture that you started doing? Uh, I mean, this was this was probably about 2000, like 16, 2017 when I started. So it was all you know. The in my area it was like the rustic. So it had the basically a white base and a stained a stained wood top. It was just it's just kind of what I was seeing on the internet and uh, what people were buying in my area. So just kind of what I started with. And you're from San Antonio, which is very rustic, I think. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm a uh, south of San Antonio, but right on the outskirts. Yeah, and it's very uh, I mean, people like that rustic, that rustic look, country farmhouse house style stuff. So, and did you work out of a garage? Did you work basement? How, uh, how was that like? Yeah, so my parents helped me get a, uh, it's a 12 by 40 portable shed. So yeah, that's that's where I work out of. So it's been kind of a work in progress, getting electrical in it, getting insulation. I finally just. Uh, a couple months ago, got AC and stuff in it, so yeah. <laughs> we were talking about you migrating from furniture to more cabinetry. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that kind of came. I, I enjoyed the furniture. The I mean, each piece was so different. It was a new new challenge each piece that you took on. But uh, I mean, I quickly kind of seen all the new homes and stuff being built in the area, and kind of figured out if you know it was more marketable to be in a in a cabinet because you'll have you'll have more jobs. And you know, not everybody's and not everybody's needing a piece of furniture, and it's really hard to compete with Walmart and, and those type of big box stores, IKEA and stuff like that. You know, and and some some people just don't have the budget to buy a, a you know several thousand dollar piece of furniture. So yeah, I kind of switched into into the cabinets and focusing on that. It's just a larger market. And now you are uh, uh, there's all sorts of types of cabinets. You. Uh, uh, specialize in any particular cabinet or whatever your customer wants. Um, right now, I've done all all face frame. I haven't done a whole lot, but it's all been, just been your traditional face framed, uh, you know, half inch overlay. Uh, haven't done anything, none, no inset. I haven't done any frameless, but uh, you know, if a if a customer asks, you know, I'll be honest with them and tell them I haven't done it, but I'll give it a shot, and I'm always willing to learn and learn it on every single project. So yeah. And we're, uh, all the cabinets, are they for a kitchen or the other rooms? Uh... Um, so the first, the first few that I've done, I did a couple for like closet organization. I've done a couple uh, vanities. I've done some, some like random base cabinets here and there that people just want for storage. And then about a month ago, I just got done with my first full kitchen set. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get into, you know, full kitchen build outs and stuff. Now, you're here at the KCMA Fall Conference in Fort Wayne, Indiana, not very close to you. What, uh, wh how did you end up here? Yeah, so, um, you know, since I'm in brand new, I don't have a large portfolio or anything, so uh, I was just kind of researching on my own ways to differentiate myself from other competitors in my area, and 
uh, just through online research, I came across the, the KCMA and I reached out to Mike Metz and he kind of guided me through the uh, signing up and, and then he invited me out to this conference and I figured I might as well. It's not really, um, it's kind of pointless having a shop full of tools and not knowing how to how to use any of them or run a business. So I figured I might as well come out here and learn as much as I can. So. And it seems like it's been kind of a whirlwind. Can you tell, tell me <laughs> what it's been like since you've been here? Yeah, it's been a, it's been pretty crazy. I'm not used to being kind of in the, in the spotlight, but yeah, I, I, uh, I was very fortunate. The very first day I met uh, Betsy Nats and she's the president and uh, yeah, I kind of told her my story and everything, and yeah, and then she started introducing me to to people, and then they reintroduced me to more people, and it just the snowball from there. And now, I mean, I've I've talked with so many people, and I mean, it's been great. I've learned so much, been inspired so much. Have I mean, just had my mind blown so many times by what other people are doing and the possibilities that are within this industry. Um, we're we've. We're at two uh, very, very large plants. Um, was that something that you could get something out of that, or is that more 10 years from now? I went in with the mindset I was going to try to at least learn one thing from each, each place. And I think uh, the, the first plant that we went to today, uh, Indiana Dimension, it was, I think that one I was able to relate more to, um, you know, with their lumber processing and, and uh, just kind of the flow of of processing the lumber into door material and making doors. I kind of related to some of that. Some of their organizational stuff for uh, for stock that they had uh, was a really good idea. Some of their uh, methods of gluing up and storing glued up panels and glued up doors. I learned a lot from IDI. Then at Genesis, it was, uh, I mean, it, it was at a totally different level. Um, that one was kind of hard to bring back down to my reality, but uh, I mean, I still, I try to, try to learn and just try to kind of keep it in the back of my head so eventually, you know, one day I, I may be able to recall on some of those memories and implant them into my uh, into my business. So. Well, you know, the story of Genesis is John Wingard had one laminating line 20 years ago, <laughs> and now he's got, you know, 14 plants yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah, it's an amazing operation, it's huge. <laughs> and, of course, tomorrow we've got uh, 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 country cabinets, and mm -hmm. that's... That's an amazing place too. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that? Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to that because I feel like that's going to be more kind of of what I'm doing every day, just at a, a little bit bigger scale. And I'm, I'm looking forward to to seeing how they break down the sheet goods and move those over to the assembly areas. And just I'm looking forward to that a lot. So yeah. And uh, you mentioned your parents. Uh, you seem like a, a young guy. I don't want to presuppose. Yeah. You graduated <laughs> school and, and got yeah. your masters. Uh, may I ask how old you are? I'm uh, 24. Okay. And uh, did your parents, uh, were they a little suspect about your career path? Um, if they were, they didn't let me know. They've been, they've been very supportive. You know, I don't have any, any family in the industry or anything, but uh, I mean, they've been, they've helped me out as, as much as they can, as much as they know how to. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, They've helped me out all that they could, and you know I appreciate everything they've done for me. So I have nothing bad to say. I don't have any anything bad to say about that. I mean, they've helped me beyond what I could imagine. So, um, and then um, you know what? Uh, if there's anything specifically when you go back to the uh, San Antonio area, that uh, you know the first thing you're going to try and implement, or is there one thing? Yeah. So. Uh, I think it's going to probably take me a little while after, I mean, after all the people I've met and, and people I've talked to, it's probably going to take me a, a week or two at least to kind of digest and, and recall everything. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely um, looking and implementing some sort of semi-custom line, having a catalog that I can give some, you know, dealers or remodelers and they, they know exactly what I offer. And, and uh, I feel like talking with everybody here, it seems like that's where a lot of the market is and, and I'm able to maybe capitalize on some of that market share within my area by by offering a semi-custom line along with a custom line. So that's one of the, the main things that has been sticking with me so far.